What's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of Solo Sequences. Now today in morning class, we had a look at, we went from cross collar choke, we went to the sit up sweep. Today we looked all into the guillotine choke. Now the guillotine choke is so beautiful and there's a couple very important mechanics in this guillotine choke. So what we're gonna do today is get started sitting on your butt and you're gonna start with a few nice big deep breaths. In through your nose, you're gonna fill up your belly, go into your diaphragm, and then breathe out. Really don't rush that breath out. It's not a good idea to rush it. If anything, just let it go as slowly as can be, um, and you're gonna feel it come out. You're gonna feel your whole body just relax, and that's what we're after right now at the start of our session. Nice work, people. So from here, what's gonna happen right now is I'm gonna start just by doing uh, a cat cow, but in, in sitting. So, you know, if we talk about a cat cow like here, here, can be up with your tailbone and your head when you're curling your um, spine. So you bring your tailbone towards your knees and the top of your head towards uh, the ground as well. Well, same thing happens right here. So what we're practicing here is gonna be just a curl of your tail of your spine and then opening of your spine. As in a curl, opening, flexing, extending. So when I flex, I'm curling. Okay, I'm bringing my shoulders towards the front of my hips, pelvis, and then I'm extending. So then I, I curl the other side of my body, which means this side opens up for the back of me to start to contract. And then when I come this way, the front of me contracts as the back of me opens up. Okay, so then if I am to keep my head in line with my hips, my shoulders relatively um, still, now I can curl my ribs this way, and I bring it back to the middle, and I curl my ribs that way, and bring it back to the middle. Curl, middle, curl, middle. So I collapse this side and extend this side, and then I collapse this side and extend this side. Curl, curl. Definitely there might be one side better or worse than the other side for me. For me, I, this, is what I, this is what I love to do. Okay, this is my habit right here, keeping, keeping my, myself um, contracted this way. Um, and this doesn't feel as, it feels interesting to be honest, and it's nice to kind of open things up and feel it. So now look, anyway, we've done right and left. We've done forwards and back. So now we can make a circle. We can go right, forwards, left, back, right, forwards, left, back. Right, forwards, left, back. And keep going for a circle. My arms are loose and now it's my rib cage that's soft my shoulders they start to come down circle and up we come again okay so you can do it with while keeping your shoulders still and you can start to add a lot more range when you start to bring your shoulders in the mix as well you can reverse we can go to the other side so we can do this you know if you're doing this as a little trick if you want some more time with it um i'd love some more time here because this side doesn't feel anywhere near as comfortable as what it felt the other side. And that's just input, input for the next time. Now, this way, <laughs> uh, one way, circle, other way, circle. Okay, now from here, just gonna bring your feet up, one side and the other. This little windscreen wipe is here while sitting, just opening up your hips here. Hope everyone's been okay on the quarantine. Um, looks like here in New South Wales, things are easing up. A couple steps closer to coming back to the Jiu Jitsu. And for now we have our solo sequences, which is okay, it's okay. Because even when our schools are open, there will be some times where you want to train by yourself and practice Jiu Jitsu. Maybe when you're, when you're injured and you can't come to class, these will be good for that. So now, windscreen wipers we've done. Now what we're gonna do here is start to work out how to come backwards and forwards. We said flexion before, okay, curl and extend. 
then do the same thing now with your hips. Instead, except we're gonna go on your spine to your head and then up and then back. So back here, and then I can make it extend for flexion with the extension. Then my feet come back down and I come into this movement again. So look, I bring my shoulders back and then my knees and I extend my hips. And now I bring my hips back towards the ground. Okay, now look at my, my heels gonna kick. And then I bring myself forward. Okay, back, extend, back, kick. Back, extend, back. Kick. This is the Tita Tora, the Pedro Sauer White to Blue Belt curriculum. Tita Tora is one of the movements that is a prerequisite to getting your blue belt with us in our school. Okay. Now from here, everybody, we're going to start adding up a little bit more. What happens now is, let's say I'm on my back. Now, I'm here. And my partner is really trying to uh, come and find posture again. So when they find posture and they spring their head back up towards you, the camera, I'm going to have to come up with them. Because if I don't manage this distance between me and my partner, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. So what I have to do is, as the person brings their head up, what I'm going to do is use my leg. It would have been their hip, but right now it's the leg. To roll myself over to the opposite shoulder. Okay, I'm here, come over to the side, shoulder on the ground, then I use my elbow. Now I come onto my forearm, and then my hand, and then I'm here. Okay, I reverse, I'm gonna go back into these next movements, which is the sit-up movement. Okay, so I'm here, I'm pulling, the person springs their head up, I come up as well. So look at my leg, my ankle comes a little bit to the outside of my knee, so I can push my hips and all of my body this way. Notice people, it's not a flexion of your hips. I, I can't keep my hips like a V. I really have to open up my hips in order to come onto this side efficiently and then up onto my hand. Very important. So I'm here and I come up, okay? And I'm here and you come up. Let's do this, we can do this 20 times. Here and you come up. Have my pants that fall down and come up. Butt crack on YouTube. No, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Very nice, very nice, very nice. When I'm up, think about I'm here. Up, up you come. Elbow nice and tight. Okay. We'll do a few more. 30 seconds more. One. And time. So, now, check out this position I'm in. When I'm sitting, I've got this leg up, and I've got this hand out here. Now, imagine my opponent's on their knees, one knee, second knee, and I'm kind of just here curling in. This arm comes over the top, and I keep my elbow in, okay? If my partner keeps going back, I follow, and I turn, and I go to the sit-up sweep. However, my partner's pushing into me now. So what has to happen, one, two, as my partner pushes in, I have to move my hips back towards my hands, but switch them at the same time and bring all my weight to this side of my body. So I'm here, and I come to there. I'm here, and I come to there. One, two, I'm here, and I hip out, and I come to here. One, two, right here, okay? So do it again, I am, here, okay, my partner pushes me, I come back, but I curl. I'm gonna bring all my weight to this side. One, two, this side, this side now. One, here, and I'm right there. One, two, and I'm here. This knee's pointing that way, now look what's gonna happen. This knee points this way. Here, make sense? Okay, practice that. Do a few reps like that, you can make those a very nice easy movement as well. And it's pretty much like four points of base to here and to here. Okay, then you can start making them like this. One, two, okay. That's a really important drill because now we're gonna put it all together. When I'm doing the guillotine and I have a partner in my guard, we'll do it from this side now. My partner's in my guard here. I've got this black hole happening. Look at the previous videos. 
We're going to look at more about the black hole. But I'm pulling them in. I have one hand in the koa. Okay. I'm looking to come underneath here and keep the person into me so I can come up and get the second hand. They really want posture. They're going to pull up for posture. As they come up for posture, one across onto this side, elbow, forearm, then here I am. Okay, now it's not a sit up sweep. What's going to happen? They're pushing into me, that's fine. Push into me, I come back with you. But as I come back, there's going to be two movements now. I come back, but as I come back and come onto this side, this arm is turning and curling as well. This is going to be a chin strap against my partner's uh, chin. Okay, so as they're pushing me to bring my back to the ground, I come out this way. Okay, and as I do that, this arm comes around. I pin the chin. I'm strapping the bottom of the chin here. Uh, what's this? Almost sternocleidomastoid muscle, like under here. Catch the chin in the jaw. That allows this arm to come over and connect. Look, four fingers connect against the knuckle and the wrist right here, right there. Now look what happens. I have this elbow here. I'm using this hand to curl. One. Two. This side now. Now you sit back. Okay, you lock your legs. Now from here, Tita Toto, which is what we did. The only difference is you're on your side and you got your legs locked. So you want to do here the uh, like a Tita Toto, extend your legs, extension of your hips here. You want to curl your upper body here and you want to crush and bring this elbow up towards the ceiling. Okay, so together becomes kick, curl, crush, the finishing mechanics of the guillotine. Kick, curl, and crush, okay? So we're gonna do it all together. This is the guillotine class, guys. Solo sequences, guillotines coming at you. So what's going on? Is I get pushed back, I'm in the guard. One, I've got my curl, I'm doing my black hole right here. I'm black hole and I'm pulling my, my, uh, my tailbone's coming up towards the ceiling, my knees are coming towards my head, and I've got this nice grip. I use this one to come under, shoot under here. Person's not working, not giving me the cross collar trick, they wanna bring their head up. As they bring the head up, I come onto my side, elbow, hand, and I'm locking this one to here. Now they're pushing into me, no problems. Come out onto this side, all your weight comes onto the other side, grab onto the, uh, uh, onto the chin. Now from here, connect your hands, pull this one across, and then lock your legs when you sit back. Extend your hips, kick, curl, and crush. Hope that helps everybody. Guillotine sequence from uh, closed guard. We started by doing this and this because when you're curling in the guillotine, you really have to understand how to use your torso. And when you use your torso, um, you can start to find so much more movement and you can find the constriction and the nice um, windpipe choke there against your partner. Um, the, the thing that you don't want to do in the guillotine is just kind of do the, just an extension like this. Because what I have to do, when I'm extending myself away, my partner's head is here. And when my partner's head is here, I have to curl and keep the top part of my body curled and flexed, but at the same time start to make that extension. So it becomes very interesting, an interesting mechanic to finish a guillotine. Um, and those three mechanics are so important, the kick, the curl, the crush. We went into a few different movements to practice um, all three of those put them together, make them a guillotine from the closed guard. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. This was cool. Thanks so much. Cheers.